And here we are, Soka Station, Saitama. This is gonna be off the Tobu line. And as you can see, not really anything eventful, but there is quite a bit of heat. And I'm gonna be on foot today, so I'm gonna load up on some water here and make our way. And I gotta say, the sun is brutal, so definitely keep that in mind if you're coming at this time of year. In fact, look at this thing. It's just coming right at me. But anyhow, let's go ahead and hot dash into the book off. And here we go, we got the main game aisle here. And we're just gonna browse things. And don't forget, Retro Rewire Game Tours, I'll leave a link in the description. Hit me up for a tour. And we're gonna start here at the very end. And kinda hiding here is gonna be the little Wii uh, light gun type of housing for uh, the Biohazard games, which was uh, 2,000 yen. And then we have a lot of strategy guides here, which is something that I'm paying more attention to because I wanna build up my uh, biohazard uh, collection a bit and this seems to fit the bill look at these 220 yen that's peanuts y'all but definitely be mindful because some of those do have graffiti so definitely uh check it out before you buy it but here we have some virtual boy action for 1500 yen we got some famicom games and i gotta say i went a little bit crazy on my famicom purchases at this book off as you will see as a matter of fact we have rygar and then wario's woods and this is going to be my first purchase and the condition of this one was actually fairly good in fact i am i'm almost convinced that this is like uh like a new old stock i mean look at this i feel like i'm the first one to open this bad boy up i'm sure i'm sure it is used but by the looks of it it's in really really good condition even has the plastic baggie all the little inserts and look at the cart itself it's just super super clean and the manual as well but definitely happy with this purchase and then here we have some jellico action and always forget the name of that game you know how it goes i just do these freestyles so it's hard for me to remember everything but we got some bowling action we got yoshi's tamago or egg and then next to that we have a few copies of hatress as well as tetris and with tetris i actually ended up picking up a copy for 480 yen and we're gonna take a peek at it here and i'll just pop it out of the sleeve and you know upon closer examination we could see its defects but considering uh you know the vintage of this game that's not, not actually too bad but one thing that is kind of curious about this location and it was on the cover of Rygar in the form of that little message is a lot of these games were missing the insert tray you know the little tray where the cartridge sits so that's going to be um uh, not too much of a big deal because you can find replacements online like aliexpress but here we have super bowling for the super famicom we have chrono trigger now this one sometimes uh chrono trigger sometimes includes the bonus pre-order item which is a pack of uh trading cards and then here we have an f1 game we have final fight 2 for 1500 yen and this one was missing the tray we got super mario world 4 coming in at 2700 and then super mario kart next to that at look at this price 480 yen pretty cheap there here's one that we don't see all the time which is eye of the beholder dungeons and dragons by capcom so definitely nice to see that one and then we're going to do a little bit of a blitz here on the Sega Saturn titles. And you're going to see a lot of the first party stuff. And a lot of it is coming in at 270 yen, 100 yen, and so forth. But look at all those fighting games. Great stuff there. And then here we have like a strategy game. I think that was the most expensive. World Series Baseball at 100 yen. That has a fun mode in the Home Run Derby. We have Blue Stinger. And then we have Virtual Fighter 3. This is going to be the Dreamcast stuff. We have Power Smash sega rally championship and a few other uh, great titles here especially that last one which is going to be capcom versus snk coming in at 900 yen before sales tax and here we go we're going to make our way into the playstation section as well as the loose cards now if you notice in the loose cards all of these are pretty much the majority of these are marked down 20 percent we have flashback we have mario kart for the same price as the box as the box version we have rockman x3 and then we have i believe the next one i'll pull out is uh, bomberman 2 but quite a bit of titles here and you can be digging through this all day and i'm sure there's going to be a, a few uh great titles in the mix and then we have gunner's heaven which i, I do like that name it's going to be a run and gun for the playstation and i do have this i bought this a few years ago off of the playstation network and it's a decent game we have biohazard 2 for 270 yen quite a bit of copies of biohazard uh, part one and two as well as part three i believe there was one in there and then we have dragon ball z ultimate battle 22 for 270 yen we have jojo's uh, bizarre adventure there for 1500 with the 10 percent discount so that's not actually too bad and then we have c1 circuit 
Haven't seen this one before, but 480 yen, so that's uh, definitely on the lower side. We have Punch Out for the Wii U or the Wii for 1500 yen, and then we have our PS2 titles here. And we'll start off with Demento, which this one does have uh, English language uh, voice acting. Everything else is going to be in Japanese. And then we have Fatal Frame uh, Zero for 1800. And then we have Shadow of Memories, which I believe is a Shadow of uh, Destiny in the West. And it's also available on the PSP. And then here we have the Switch titles. And look at this, um, Tears of the Kingdom. They're paying 4,500 yen if you sell it to them. And on the PlayStation, uh, what is this? The PlayStation 5, 3,500 yen is what they'll pay you for Final Fantasy 16 there. Then we have El Shaddai for 270 yen. And then we also have the Cursed Crusade. Now for El Shaddai, I kind of was uh, looking in the case because sometimes it does include some postcards. And then 700, uh, 720 there for MotorStorm 2. Now this is where I spent most of the, my money because, um, you know, with my collection, a lot of the stuff that I want is just going to be behind the glass. That's just how it works. Down in the bottom, we have some PS2 Slims. We have a Wii U uh, gamepad. And then an assortment of uh, random cards. Uh, we got some PlayStation Vita memory cards. 8,800 for the 64 gig there. And then some various controllers. And then up above is going to be my next purchase, which is Ninja Dukenden Ninja Gaiden. Look at this bad boy. I've been wanting this one for quite some time. 10% off because there is some damage to the box and just like tetris it is missing the tray but i have some on the way they're going to be coming soon we'll get those replaced but yeah this is definitely a great pickup for me and as you can see i'm just kind of pointing out at the, at the damage there as well as this here and but yeah definitely happy with this one and it's it's uh this was the, the last one i needed and i have uh now i now have uh the complete trilogy on the old Famicom, but as you can see there, no tray. Then we have the cart here, which is fairly clean. And then we have the instruction manual, like the baggie and all the, the additional inserts are gonna be missing, but that's definitely okay. And then up above that, we have the next purchase, which is Castlevania Densetsu coming in at 17,000 yen before sales tax. And the condition of the box here is fairly clean. And this is one that I've been wanting for quite some time. I'm definitely a big uh, Castlevania nut. and. I want to say like the biggest damage is going to be on the little flap here which i'll pull that out and you can see that it is creased but apart from that uh, and the fact that it's missing like the the inner the, the tray it's uh it's fairly clean the cart itself is uh probably not as great a shape as the actual box but overall definitely happy with this purchase and then we'll just do a comparison you know here uh we have some uh, the copies at hard off surugaya and then uh, another hard off and i forget this shop i forget the name but it's in akihabara and then we have another surugaya this is the one in shinjuku so definitely those are going to be coming in at a higher um some of them a lot higher and then we have Ax axe battler there for the game gear and then we have mighty mighty final fight but definitely happy about that castlevania densetsu we have 4,500 yen there for final fight and then we have some more famicom action here which you know some of these are missing the the insert and when you go to this store you know you can definitely uh ask them to open it up and uh, usually they're more than happy to so you can see uh the condition now kirby's dreamland i also picked that up for 3,900 yen and again this one's fairly clean but it is missing the the insert that tray but again i have some coming on the way so not really a big deal and these are going to be the defects there a little bit of a uh, a little bits uh, bits and pieces there torn off the cover but the manual look at the, the condition of the manual it's fairly uh it's it's actually in really good condition i feel and then here we go this is going to be the cart again fairly clean it's missing all the additional inserts now look at this now these are just stating that they're also on the yahoo auction website and then in the back we have our super famicom titles which this you know if you're not really like a uh, super proficient in uh japanese it definitely does make it um a lot a lot more difficult to to shop that area but you can ask them to open the case and you know you can just kind of using the google translator app uh have them have asked them to move that stuff around here we have a new 3ds and a 2ds fairly clean and then we're going to cool off here with the float definitely uh this is much needed in this heat and i decided to actually just come come on foot because the both the book off and the surugaya are about 20 minutes away but look at this look at all these figures if you're a figure maniac this is definitely one of the places to come now 
with the with the games and everything else you know i'll leave pricing up to you but sometimes quantity and condition is gonna be um a little bit of uh a more priority for some of you um you know con uh, against the price uh what am i trying to say sometimes quantity and uh condition is gonna tr uh, trump uh price but look at all this stuff and don't don't get, try to get fresh and get a five finger discount because look at that they got a warning there <laughs> but anyhow let's go ahead and go into the game section and this is going to be at the Momo, Momotaro Kingdom, supported by Surugaya. So down below, what do we have? Some Taiko drum stuff for the for the Wii. We got some Wii U's. Uh, 10,000 yen. That's definitely a little bit pricey. The Splatoon one is missing a few things, it seems. We got a few special edition Wii modes. And then we got some Game Boy Color action there. 6,200 there for the yellow. 12,000 yen for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. And then we have a variety of mini systems. We got the, the Genesis as well as the PlayStation mini consoles. And then we have a new Nintendo 3DS uh, LL XL for 23,000 yen. Now, look at, the, uh, look at the pink on this one. It just kind of pops there. And somebody was asking me about that, but there you go. That's coming in at 23,000. And then this one's coming in at 18,000. And I believe this is just like, oh, no, this is also a new 3DS. But the one in the back is just your standard one coming in at 20,000 yen. And then up above, we have the new regular sized 3DS coming in at 18,000. The black one is actually really nice. I personally have the white one, which they do have two of them in stock. Here we have one with the box for 22,000 yen. And next to it is one without the box for 18,000 yen. So, so yeah, let's, uh, that's... And I would say, like, you know, for the Tokyo area and surrounding area, that's about average, uh, at least from what I've seen personally. And then we have some retro freaks up above. What else do we have? We got some switch action here. And then we have the light there. And then what's this? Uh, I'm not really sure what game that is. Monster Hunter Rise. That's my guess. And what else do we have here? We got some various controllers. And then down below here in a sec as we just kind of cruise through all the controllers they had quite a bit at least what i feel they had quite a bit of amiibo action and quite a bit of controllers look at that they even have the 8-bit do stuff actually they had quite a bit of controllers there but here we go with the with the amiibo action and then as you can see here 1980 yen which is what about 14 dollars for these we got some kirby we got some meta knight uh some splatoon so I'm not really sure how those compare to online prices or prices back in the States and Europe, but there you go. Nah, at least, at least you know, I don't have that many Amiibos myself, but from what I see here, not a bad, um, not a bad selection. And then we have some Monster Hunter Rise action there. And then we're going to make our way back into the carts for some Nintendo 64 action. Now, the thing about this place is a lot of the stuff had discounts, but if you factor in the discounts, sometimes it's a... Uh, a little bit higher priced than what you would find at a hard off or it just kind of evens out after that discount but here we have a gemini 4 something like that for it has a 20 percent uh, off we have a xbox 360 elite we have a nintendo 64 here coming in at 3980 yen then we have an assortment of stuff in this basket here and then we'll make our way into the super famicom and as you can see a lot of this 30 percent off 20 percent off we have 30% uh, off here on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And then we have Kirby there, 20% off. It's coming in at 3,800 yen before that discount. Then we have uh, Yoshi's Island. And then we have Super Mario World 4. That one is a bit sun faded. And then we have, what is this, uh, Garou Special. And then we have our Dragon Ball Z titles. Uh, 3,000 yen with a 30% discount. And then we have Breath of Fire 2. Look at this cover. This is a beautiful cover. Great game and a great series by Capcom. 3,600 yen with a 50% discount. And then we have some more Chrono Trigger action. Again, sometimes these do include that pre-order bonus. And I definitely want to pick up a pack uh, of those cards because they're they're actually pretty neat. What else do we have? A and this is my, my final pickup of the day. We have Tiny Toons. 50% off. So 2,500 yen, and then here we'll just take a quick peek. Now, it was saying that it had some kind of damage. Now, the box itself isn't perfect. You know, a few creases here and a few scratches here and there. It comes with the manual. It is missing the baggie and the additional inserts, and the tray itself does have some damage. As you know, and then we have a, a little crease there on the corner of the manual. But for the most part, I'm really, I'm really uh, happy with this purchase. 
and then we got another marking there on the back. But overall, that's in, that's in fairly good condition. And now we're gonna make our way into these mini display cases. Look at that, we have Silent Hill HD collection for the PS3 for 8,000 yen. It has a 10% discount. We have Mushihime Sama for 8,300 uh, yen for the PlayStation 2, which I have this game and it's actually not too bad of a port. We have Spike Out, we have some Sonic action there. We have Mushihime Sama Futari, which we'll see more of that, more of that shooter. Look at this, we have Outrun 2, 21,500 yen for the original Xbox next to Far East of Eden. ESP Galuda, the black label with the faceplate for the 360 for 11,800 yen. We have Mushihime Sama for the 360 for 15,000, Futari version for 9,000. Dungeons and Dragons for the Sega Saturn, 17,200 yen. With that discount, that's probably like the lowest that I've seen it in a while. Then we have uh, Parodius there. What else do we have? We got some PS2 action. We have the Contra release, the original Contra release by Hamster for the PlayStation 2 for 7,980 yen, and it did have a 30% discount. And as you will notice, a lot of these games do are discounted, but again, sometimes the discount is just kind of matching what the standard price is at other stores like this uh, Akumajo Chino Rondo. We have uh, 3,000 yen, 30% off. What's that, like about 22,000 yen after that discount, which is in line with what you would find at other locations. And then we have KO the Flying Squadron, 28,000 yen with a 10% discount and the spine card. Not sure how, how I feel about that one, but it was kind of tempting. And what do we have here? We have Outrun there, 10,300 yen with a 10% discount. We have Salamander, we have Layer Section 2 for 8,800 yen with a 20% discount. We got the KOF uh, bundle pack there. And then we got some 3D or some DS titles here, an assortment of them. We got Shantae there, I believe that's for the 3DS. A few, a few 3DS titles in there. And then we have some more, some more titles down below. But yeah, this one, this one was definitely tempting. I didn't get it, but 28,000 yen with a 10% discount. And I definitely want to pick up a copy of Mushihime Sama for the 360. It's also available on the Switch and the PS4 and, uh, and on Steam. But I'm not sure. I believe those ports are based off of the 360. But here we go. We got the next case. We had some Switch action down below and a few loose cards here on this, on this shelf. And then up above that, we have some more Switch action. We got this Pokemon Double Pack. And then an assortment of collector's editions, limited editions. And then we have a few PlayStation 4 consoles. Look at that. A PS4 Pro was 16,000 yen. That doesn't seem too bad of a price. And then here we go. We got some PlayStation. Uh, we got the PS4 stuff, which I'm sure this stuff moves a lot quicker than, uh, than the retro stuff. At least that's what I suspect. And then we have Soul Cresta there. For 4,200 yen by Super Deluxe. Now, I did an unboxing off of their uh, Cuphead release, which actually was very, very good release. Super happy with, uh, with the work they did with that one. And then we have our Vita titles. We have Need for Speed Most Wanted for 1,000 yen. Everything else was just kind of what you would expect to see. Here we have Zone of the Enders, the HD edition for 700 yen. Unfortunately, that one does not support English language options. But here we have Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing for 1,300 yen. And that's gonna be the North American copy. Then we have Dark Souls 2 and then Dirt 3 for 1,800 yen with a 10% discount. And then here we have the Puppeteer for 1,300. We have Fallout New Vegas for 4,600 and Initial D, 5,600 yen with a 30% discount. And then the last guy, I hear great things about this game, 1,300 yen. I believe it's like a like a zombie type of game. And then we have Motorstorm 2 for 1,000 yen, so a little bit less at the book off. Then we have Ninja Gaiden Black for 5,500 yen. This is a great game. Still have my copy. And then we have The House of the Dead 2 and 3. That's another great one. And then we have this uh, Skyward Sword. Look at that. And it comes with a, a regular Wiimote. Usually I'm used to seeing this one with the gold version. I wonder if that was uh, the difference between the North American and the, the Japanese release. But we have The Calling for 5,000 yen with a 20% discount. And I wonder if this one's any good. I believe I used to have this one, but I ended up selling it before I even played it. But that was years and years ago. But we have Bayonetta 2, 1,500 yen. And then we have an assortment of retro goodness here, which we're definitely going to have a closer look. 
But up above, we have our GameCube titles, 1,800 yen for Resident Evil 4, which is definitely on the higher side. And what do we have? Another copy, 1,800 yen with a 50% off uh, discount, which puts it at 900 yen. Uh, 2,000 there for uh, Zelda and Luigi's Mansion for 2,600 yen with a 50% discount. What else do we have? We got some Mario Tennis um, Advance there for 1,500. And uh, I forget the name of that one, but I don't know. Did that one get a North American release? And then here we have, uh, what is this? Uh, Kid Icarus. And then an assortment of loose cards on the advance, which, you know, definitely this, this is what eats up a lot of time, you know, just looking through all those individually. And I like this cover to Space Harrier too. It, it is sun faded, but definitely a, a gnarly cover there. And then we have some WWF Rage in the Cage. Look at that. And then we have some Crash and Burn for the 3DO. So they had a little bit of everything, not a whole lot, mind you, but... Just a little bit of everything, even Neo Geo CD titles here. KOF 95, Fatal Fury 2, Real Bout. A lot of what you would expect to see, Samurai Spirits 2. Then we have some uh, some Ballast 2, which I believe this is a part of the collection that was on the Switch as well as the PS4. And then we have Rival Schools. That's a great fighting game. That one uh, deserves like a, a, an updated, a, a, new, a new game in the series. We have Star Gladiator for 500 yen. That's another great one. And then we have some more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. We got Street Fighter 03 for 1,100 yen. Not a bad port there on the on the PS1. And then we have Tron Bond. Look at this, 3,300 yen, and you get a discount. And then we have a Wild Ambition Garou for 3,600 yen. A little bit sun faded back there. And then we have this fishing game for 2,500. And there's a ton of fishing games on the PS1, as well as the Sega Saturn. We have some Vampire Savior. What else do we have? We got a, a few Rockman titles. We got 3,400 3, yen. Part 4, 2,700 yen. And then Part 5 coming in at 3,400 yen. And if you really, really look, you can find these for cheaper. But sometimes you have to kind of, you know, weigh the time that it takes. Ray Tracers. I'm just kind of interrupting myself. But that's a great game. But, you know, sometimes you can find these games cheaper. But sometimes uh, you lose out in the transportation and the time in order to save like a few bucks but and look at this rockman 8 10,000 yen with a 10 percent discount now when i was at the tatebayashi book off that one was like uh just under 4,000 yen so that's definitely a huge uh that one is worth uh worth going out uh in the more rural areas for but then capcom generation one we got hat trick hero uh saturn or s for 1,400 yen i'm definitely interested in trying this one out the saturn version we got the Street Fighter Collection there for 2,600 yen. What else do we have? Burning Rangers for 5,500 yen with the Obi card. Haven't played that one. And I used to want it so bad. And then we have Waku Waku 7, 4,700 yen. The Saturn port is so-so. It has really pixelated backgrounds. But then we have D2 there for 1,500. Sega GT. What else do we have here for the old Dreamcast? Samba de Amigo for 1,600 yen. And we have Sonic Adventure for 900 yen. That's not too bad of a price. Then we have Sonic Shuffle, 2,300 yen. And then Rune Jade for 900 yen. Haven't played this one. In fact, I don't know if I've heard of that one before. This one I haven't heard of before. What is that? Sengoku Turb. Definitely a funky looking title there. Then we have Third Strike for 3,100 yen with a 10% discount. And SN Capcom vs. SNK2, 3,800 yen, 10% off. And then the vanilla release with a 20% discount. So not a not a bad selection there for the Saturn and the and the Dreamcast, as well as the PlayStation 1. But again, pricing, I'll leave that up to you guys. We got the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 goods here. And we're gonna make our way into some hardware, which the with the with the book off that we went to, there wasn't a lot of hardware options, but this place uh not too bad there. The digital edition was coming in at 44,000 yen. And what else do we have? We got some PlayStation Vitas, some PlayStation 2s, some PS3s here. And this is just kind of getting a little wide view of everything. What, what do we got? The, the PlayStation VR. We got this DualSense controller coming in at 6,000 yen, like a little hot pink. 1,900 yen for the, for the remote. I don't know if that one deserves to be in the, in the display case. 5,800 yen for a PlayStation. A PS1, then we got the PS1, uh, I guess the Slim, 9,800 yen. 
and then an assortment of PS2 Slims. 12,000 yen for that one. That's going to be the 9,000 model, which did away with the, with the power brick. What else do we have? We got the, P look at this, a 64 gig card, 11,800 yen. It was 8,800 yen at the book off that we went to. And then an assortment of Vitas and uh, PSPs, which I recently got a pretty good deal on a PlayStation Vita for 5,000 yen. I'll release a short on that very, very soon. But a PS Vita TV, that one's definitely pricey. 8,800 yen for the Mega Drive Model 1, 12,400 yen for the Sega Saturn. And then we got the AV Famicom coming in at 12,000 yen. And then we got a couple or a few VMUs there. And then next to that, we have uh, another Sega Saturn in the back for 9,500. And then we have a Neo Geo coming in at 40,000 yen. And it includes the controller and the manual. And I believe it on the side there, we can see that it has uh, the old AC adapter. Then we have a Spice Orange Cube in the box for 14,000, a Super Famicom Mini for 6,000, 10,000 yen for the Sega Dreamcast, 5,800 for the N64. And look at this one, the orange one. I believe this was modeled after, er, inspired by a baseball team for 14,800 yen. That thing is beautiful looking. And I do like like the, the texture to it, like the look has like this little marble orangey type of finish a very beautiful looking uh, machine that one and then it has that clear n64 controller and then we're gonna make our way into the software here but we will take a look at the hardware that's in this side as well we got some ps we got a super slim for 10,000 yen no discount unfortunately and then next to that, 16,500 yen for the regular slim we got a 60 gig there coming in at 23,000 i believe and then an assortment of uh, Xbox controllers and then the games themselves. What do we have here? 50% off for Art of Fighting, 15,000 yen, 23,000 for KOF 96. So as you will see, some of these games do have a discount. But again, it kind of puts them at what you would find at other locations. And then we have Samurai Spirits. We got two copies, 30% off on all three actually. And they're all coming in at 6,000 yen before that discount. And the same is going to be with Samurai Spirits too. And then we have Vertex there, 18,500 yen, 30% off. Then we got some Tiger Heli there for 8,500. What do we have? Bare Knuckle, 6,800 with 30% off. 7,500, 30% off. Super Street Fighter 2, that's going to definitely put it at the lowest that I've seen. And then we have Art of Fighting 2, 6,800 yen. That game's so cheap, but I definitely like playing it. We have the original Garou, World Heroes 2, 12,000 yen with a 50% off discount. 16,000 yen for uh, 96 and 63,000 for World Heroes Perfect with a 20% off uh, or discount. And then we have Majora's Mask there. And that one also had a discount. And, you know, kind of looking at the footage now, <laughs> almost everything is uh, is discounted. But it can be a little bit of smoke and mirror, y'all, because, uh, again, it kind of puts it in line with what you would expect to find in other stores. Here we have an assortment of Hue cards. We got some N or some Famicom stuff. We got this rock board, 9,500 yen. I've seen that one before. And then we have this uh, Enix title, Enix, for 11,000 yen, 30% off. And that one was actually at the book off up in uh, Ashikaga. We got Mega Man and Forte. What else do we have? We got a Neo Geo pocket game there coming in at 3,800 yen, 30% off. We got a few Mega CD and a, a Neo Geo, a few Neo Geo CD titles. I believe they're one of them is Top Hunter there for 7,000 yen with a 20% off uh, discount. And we have some Pokemon action. We have Sonic Advance 2. What else do we have? We got some Castlevania goods, some Pocket Monster stuff. Not sure what that, that strategy game in the middle there with the tank. And then here we go. We got Rockman X. 7,200 yen for 30% off. But we're just going to end things here, just kind of browsing the Super Famicom collection. But guys, there's definitely more on the way. I took a little bit of a break. You know how it goes, especially now that it's the summertime. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Definitely more to come. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Ciao.